my crafty loving friends. Shelly here with Repurpose My Way with a Goodwill haul. I got a few things. There really wasn't a lot to choose from. It looked like they had cleaned the place out and reorganized. So there were some things in different places and the prices were crazy. So uh, I was a little bit more selective in what I picked up so that I didn't get a bunch of weird stuff um, that I paid too much for. So I just picked out things that I knew that I could do stuff with and things that interested me in uh, recreating and doing a thrift flip for you guys. So first of all, we're gonna start with this because this doesn't really need too much work, really, or any work at all, just something in the middle here. This is a pineapple uh, candle holder. My daughter loves pineapples and I thought she would really like this. It's uh, so cute. And I did a little, um, a little spiff up, just a little example of what you could do with this instead of putting a candle in. Isn't that cute? I did that just with a simple chick and some greenery and you could put that anywhere in your home to dress it up. I think it looks really cute. Or you could just put a candle in there. That would work good too. Um, but I really like that and my daughter will like it as well. The other thing that I got is this. It's a little, little peg shelf. Uh, it's got a little indentation up here, a little cutout. You put your plate, you know, when it's up against the wall, you put a plate in there so it doesn't slide off uh, or pictures or something like that. And I really liked it. It had the, the four little pegs. It's got the little plate thing. And I thought that this would look really nice. Uh, decorated primitive. Could put a stencil on here once it's painted or even some wallpaper. Um, I did a chalkboard recently that I used wallpaper and I'll put a link to the video up in this corner here if you're interested in checking out that video. That came out really, really cute. Sometimes you can see it in the background of my videos. I have it sitting in uh, the corner over my right shoulder usually. I haven't uh, done anything with it yet, but it's there for you to see. So, um, but I did do a video of it, so check that out. So I was thinking painting this up putting a little wallpaper border on there, or uh, a stencil would look really, really cool. So I'm looking forward to doing something with this. It's a blank slate, why not? And this was uh, $3. The pineapple was $4, I don't think I told you that. So prices are a little, mm, but you know, it is what it is. I guess that's the way it is everywhere. The other thing that I did that I picked up was this cool uh, mailbox. I thought this was so, so cool. I was pulling on this while I was in the store, not real hard, but just to see if it would come off, and I think it will. So I think I could fill the holes if I wanted to, or cover it over, paint it. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet, but uh, it's got a few stickers on it. It's scratched up and banged up, and it's got rust here and there and everywhere, and I love it. I was thinking that maybe I would take this and I'm always looking for items to put around my property that I can plant flowers in or decorate up my chicken coop or something like that with some flowers. I thought it would look really cool. Kind of like this here. And I know that's a little bit different, but it would be similar. So you'd put, you know, plant some flowers in here and then have them just come out over the edge and hang them out. I think that would be so, so pretty. So I'm not sure if that's what I'm gonna do, but that's kind of my idea. I really like it. So, and this was $4, I think. Yeah, this was $4, so pretty neat. Okay, and I got this, uh, I don't know, tray server, buffet server, uh, without the middle, without the center in it. But I've done these before. I actually did a video on it. I'll put a link up here and a picture of a couple of them that I did here. And this was $6, but it was a red tag and it was 50% off, so I got it for three. Um, it should have been $3 to begin with, honestly. But that's the lay of the land now over there. So I thought uh, some thin piece of wood, because this is very small sides on it, some thin piece of wood uh, painted up saying something. It could be put up like this, or it could be set on a, on a counter, on a coffee table, on a buffet wherever, candles, decorate it however you want, put your pineapple on it, 
put your pineapple on top. Um, but I, I just, I love the bones to it and the big, the big handles on it and all that. I just thought it was really cool. So I can't wait to do something with that. The last, but not, not the last actually, second to last, uh, second to last thing that I got. And you guys are going to look at this and go, what in the world? Probably. But I got this. It's one of those little uh, screen covers that you'd put on for a picnic over your food to keep the flies and bugs and whatever out of your food. Well, I thought this was really cute with the butterflies on it. Not really my style. I'm hoping that I can cut the butterflies off, maybe give this an, a new spray paint job and distress it a little bit, make it look a little older and aged and use that kind of like this. And I think that would be be pretty cool and look more my style than um, butterflies. Even though I do like butterflies, uh, it would go better outside than inside my house. <laughs> Sitting in the flower garden. Um, okay, so now, Nat, last but not least, this is called a pyramid puzzle. This looks like it's been around a while. Pyramid puzzle. Uh, and it was made here in Maine. But this is all it is. And this is what the picture shows. It's four pieces. So it comes in these four pieces. So you get two of these and they're all connected together. So I'm thinking what I can do is cut them off however long I want them and make, use them for feet. I could drill holes in them and use them for beads. Um, so there were some really cool ideas that I had with these. They would really actually like this. They would make cute snowmen, put a little hat, some little nose. They would make cute little snowmen. So those are those. And then these, there's a six, six of these and they're all connected together, glued, I guess. Um, and I think what I can do is just cut them and use them for feet for under trays or little, little um, risers or something like that. So uh, for $3, that's what I got this for. I thought, why not? I was scoping it out and while I was looking at it, there was a lady like over my shoulder kind of looking at them too. Uh, I think she really wanted them, but I'm like, lady, I got them in my hand, I'm taking them. <laughs> so um, yeah, for $3, I thought those would be great little feet for something. So anyway, that's my haul today. I hope you like me giving you a few ideas of some stuff that I've done. Uh, I've also done um, so a shelf, like the little peg shelf that I have. I've done some shelves with that with wallpaper. If I can find a picture, I'll stick it in here somewhere. But um, yeah, I think I found some pretty cool things that I can do and flip them for you guys and show you what to do, what you could do with them. If you find similar, I'm really excited about the mailbox. I've never had an actual big mailbox before. I've had some little, little boxes, but I'm pretty excited about this mailbox thing. So we're going to have to think up something really cool for it. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for checking out the channel, checking out my, my Goodwill haul and, uh, please like share and subscribe. And as always have a good day.